Drew Tranquil is a must re-sign for the Chargers. I know it may not seem like it, but Drew Tranquil is the most important free agent this year. Some of you might think Nasir Adderley is, but after watching this video, you may just agree with me. Or you're gonna leave a comment and say I'm stupid or something, you know, whatever. Either way, I wanna explain to you why I think this. And before we get into this video, if you could like and subscribe, it helps me out tremendously if you enjoy this content. So, let me start with some stats. Drew Tranquil is the 38th best linebacker by PFF, which is actually better than Kaiser White, who we let walk last year, which I think was a big mistake, by the way. He also has a run defense rating of 75th among linebackers and the most missed tackles by a linebacker at 25 missed tackles and 15.3% missed tackle rate Oof. now that sounds terrible but drew tranquil is a great coverage linebacker he ranks 12th in the nfl in that regard and also has the 11th best pass rushing grade for a linebacker so those are two areas that affect the passing game which is more important in today's nfl than the running game i know a lot of Chargers fans don't want the defense to get run on up and down the field but that starts with the defensive lineman first of all and also i'll take the trade-off of having a linebacker that is one of the best in the nfl in pass rush and coverage while not being great at run defense the missed tackles though that is a big issue for me now kenneth murray is the only other linebacker on the chargers that has played more than 65 snaps on defense this past year and he is ranked the 80th best linebacker by pff his run defense rating is 89th among linebackers his pass rush rating is 33rd and his coverage rating is 25th so that's a pretty big drop off from basically the only other linebacker on your team at the moment but what about the missed tackles kenneth murray has 12 missed tackles but it comes at a 13 percent missed tackle rate so he has a lot fewer missed tackles but at almost the same rate which means that kenneth murray is just out of position more often than drew tranquil is because he doesn't even have the opportunity to make the tackle or more of these plays are going to Drew Tranquil's sides, or it could even just be a combination of both of those things. So now we know the stats, let's talk about the money. Drew Tranquil's market value as of right now is four million a year, and he is 27 years old. So in my eyes, I think a fair contract would be three years, 12 million total with performance incentives that could go up to about 15 million a year, but I would like a ripcord after two years. As for Kenneth Murray, we're not going to be cutting him because not only is he the only other linebacker that has seen significant time in this defense, but he would relieve zero cap space if you cut him. So it would just make no sense at all. And I also think the stats show that he's at least a serviceable linebacker and he's being paid reasonably at a position where you don't need much talent in order to make a deep playoff run. The linebacker is the running back of the defense. It is becoming increasingly devalued and you need more DBs just like you need more wide receivers. So because of that, we need to spend the bulk of our resources on maximizing the offense with Justin Herbert. So save the money and save the draft picks for playmakers and offensive linemen. Cause I, I don't wanna see Justin Herbert get injured again. Where this gets interesting is the fact that the Chargers are almost certainly not gonna be picking up Kenneth Murray's fifth year option because then he would make almost 13 million in that fifth year when his value is more similar to four and a half million dollars a year because he is only 24 years old. That's why he has a higher market value than Drew Tranquil. So next year could possibly be Kenneth Murray's final year as a charger. And if that is the case, then it does leave a hole for that entire position group. If you don't re-sign Drew Tranquil, then you have literally nobody after next year so then how are you going to fill that are you going to fill it with a draft pick in the later rounds of this year's draft or are you going to sign a free agent next year next year is a pretty solid linebacker class and free agency you got guys like miles jack eric kendricks devin white josie jewel christian kirksey willie gay jr akeem davis gaither but keep in mind you don't want to spend a lot of money on this position and you just want a solid player. And because all you want at this position is a solid player and the uncertainty of Kenneth Murray's future with the Chargers, 
That's why I think you have to re-sign Drew Tranquil. Although he did miss tackles at the worst rate in the NFL this past year, he is a serviceable linebacker that is better against the pass than the run, while also being our best run defending linebacker anyway. It wouldn't take a lot of money to get it done, and I think coupon god Tommy T is going to get this contract done with Drew Tranquil at market value, so that's about $4 million a year. But also keep in mind that market value this year is not going to be same as market value next year and the year after that and after that because it's going to keep going up and up and up. And also Tom Telesco knows the value of having guys like this that are reliable and serviceable on your team on a very team friendly contract. And I think Drew Tranquil would gladly accept $4 million a year on a three year contract. Now, I think a lot of Chargers fans are on the same page here on re-signing Drew Tranquil. But my question is, if you don't re-sign Drew Tranquil, then who's gonna be starting at linebacker next year alongside Kenneth Murray, who was worse than Drew Tranquil? Are you gonna draft that position highly this year? Or are you going to spend money on getting a free agent? Like, I mean, we're not gonna get a Levante David. We're not gonna get a guy like Deion Jones in free agency. It costs too much money. Would you reunite with Denzel Perriman? And now with that scary thought in your head, I think I've given a good case as to why Drew Tranquil is the most important free agent for the Chargers this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Like I said, it helps me out so much if you do so. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.